Hello everyone, so today we're going to be testing out a new app I've seen a lot of ads for, I've had some requests from you all to check it out. So this is Helix Waltz, I believe, and it's looking uh, fairly similar to Love Niki, like a dress-up game with a plotline. It doesn't seem like anything is happening. I, I like the rose thing when I click, but maybe I'll try and open it again. Oh, here we go. Okay, so <laughs> we need to start off with downloading some files. So I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit. Uh, so I'm sorry for not getting a lot of videos up this week. It has been a very busy week for me. School is happening. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to try this out. I'm hoping I can get this up ASAP because I have been seeing a lot of ads for it and I'm super curious about what it'll be like, if it's a lot like Love Nikki, if it's really its own thing. I'm so curious. And as always, if you ever have any apps that you would like to see me go ahead and try, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I tend to check things out if you all request them. I also recently got back into playing Pokemon Go, um, so that's been a bit of a, a bane on my phone's battery. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, check out check out what's going on. Hopefully, yeah, okay. Um, so let's just play now, I'm not going to log in yet, hopefully that won't be an issue later. Loading this artwork first up looks very cool. At the center of this fantasy world, and during a time of change, stands the city-state of Finzel. Oh, this is cute. Here, an ordinary girl lived a happy life in this peaceful and prosperous city. Until one terrible night that saw everything she knew go up in flames. She lost her parents, her house, her clothes, her doll, and all whom she held dear. Ooh. Meanwhile, two nobles visited the ruins in the slums. My lord, what a pleasure to meet you. Miss Elsa, you're as elegant as ever. Your handsomeness and charm haven't changed at all. However, are you sure about this location? A pure flower often grows in a filthy corner. This fire has burnt everything down yesterday. I'm sure we have full control on these two pitiful flowers now. You are right, your grace. The one over there, what do you think about her? The taller one. A fair lady, but her age, you know, someone right before elementary education would suit our plan better. My mistake, your grace. Not at all. Please don't blame yourself, Mrs. Eliza. Your inherent elegance and dignity as well as the remarkable wisdom passed down in your family are superior. Otherwise, I wouldn't entrust such... You're flattering me, your grace. Hmm? What are you looking at? Shh, you see, Miss Eliza. That kid, a bit too skinny. Have you noticed her blue eyes? Her eyes are clear like a deer. Right after a huge fire, don't you feel? But she looks. Time will give her fair skin and graceful curves. I believe after one decade of the most delicate delectable dishes, the most costly clothes, your earnest instruction, this child will... I understand her grace. Good girl, tell me what's your name. Uh, Mary. Nickname has been used. Oh, someone else. Okay, I understand. Looks like my name is gonna be Nekomulita. It's <laughs> my, uh, my, my full name. Nekomulita. Really, such a great name. Forget about it. You will be Magda Elstein from now on. Daughter of Elsa X Elstein. Oh. So I've been adopted. Elsa Elstein, a former noblewoman who'd fallen on hard terms, took the girl in. In the decade that followed, the girl lived a life of riches beyond her wildest imagination, her education befitting that of a lady. Okay, I can't read fast enough. Miss Elstein seemed to have no other living relatives, and yet they grew to know each other. They formed a bond like any other mother and daughter. Mm. But the girl knew that it was only a matter of time before Mayhem would return. Oh. And come knocking on her door once more. My lady, a gentleman is asking for you. I don't remember we'd have any guests today. Wait, is the gentleman in rose red? Yes, my lady. 
please bring him in. Mom, what's going on? Magda, we have a very honorable guest today. Go up and change, a and change into a dress. Remember what I've taught you. Mom, you look... Don't mind this. Remember what I've taught you. Dress yourself up as finely as possible. This is more important than anything else, my child. Whether we can... It's on you now. Yes, Mom. Okay. Am I getting married off? Because, like, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get... Dressed in a long white dress. Hmm. Looks a bit wedding s. I <laughs> got a bad feeling about this. Ugh. Mom, is my attire okay? My child, you've finished your study. I ordered the maid to prepare scones and tea. Go and check on it. Bring it up when it's ready. You must do it in person to show your you do it in person to show your sincerity. Yes, Mom. Your Grace, please grant your presence. She can't hear us. You can come out. Miss Elsa, I'm impressed by your intuition. You've always been an expert in hiding in the dark and waiting for an opportunity to act. Is that what you think? I'll take it as a compliment. Today you are here. It's been a decade, Mrs. Elza. I've traveled to many places, tracked many lands, and planted many seeds. You must understand what I'm expecting from you, should she be a bright lamp that... As you can see, I've made painstaking effort over the past ten years to cultivate her. But this is not a poor, fragile lamp, but... Right, Mr. Elza. You've done an amazing job. When she gazes at someone with their hair of blue eyes, he simply can't say no. Her beauty is beyond all doubt, but what is truly precious is the genuine care she has learned from you after ten years of luxury and extravagance. No, I can't teach her that. It's her nature. I'm very grateful for your exceptional insight, Your Grace. Mrs. Elza, tears should be shed at times of joy. Please restrain yourself. You have plenty of time to cry with joy later. What? Your grace, do you mean? Yes, my lady, as you wish. Your effort will be paid off. I can't find a better candidate than this child in any aspects. Please allow me to interrupt. Those other children. This is out of your concern. You should get ready for your return to Finsel. The day you left in such a wretched condition. This time you'll beautifully turn it around, right? Yes, I should. She will return any second, and I should take my leave. Best wishes to you, Mrs. Elsa. I, are you leaving? I... Mom, I've brought scones and tea. I didn't spill any. Why are you crying? My child, Magda, I'm just... I'm just happy. We're going back. Back to Finsel, the prosperous city of Amber, and the land where you were born. Ten years later, you return to the place where you were born. Okay. A new story has begun. So I don't understand... Uh, what our relationship with that man is, and... Okay. Magda, do you like your new bedroom? Very, Mom. I love this purple carving. As long as you like it, my child. Now we need to talk. What is it, Mom? My child, after so many years, do you remember anything from Finsel? I still remember my days in the slum. Then I met you, Mom. Yes, although these years I have given you education and the life a noble deserves, you still lack knowledge about your true about true nobles in Finsel. I've been reading stories, but there are still things I don't understand. I'd like to consult you, Mom. Ask now. I have more things of great importance to tell you. I don't know too much about Finsel. Um, let's ask about origins. How was Finsel founded? It is said the first saint of Finsel re received an ordinance and established Finsel with a group of adventurers after overcoming countless obstacles. The initial followers of the saint were later. Oh, can I scroll down ever? I feel like I've been missing text. Okay, I see. So the Ellenstein family. I mean, were our ancestors in the saint's army? The Ellenstein family wasn't along the saint's earliest followers, but we moved in when Finsel was merely a small village. The great achievements used to be carved on the wall of the senate. Talking about the family's past glory will break mom's heart. I should change the topic. I don't know too much. Let's ask about aristocracy. I'd love to hear more about the noble in Finsel. After receiving of the oracle and the founding of Finsel, the saint granted various privileges to her mater Maturitas followers, who then became Finsel's nobles. 
Among the nobles, the four families that served the saint first were granted special powers. They are known as the Big Four in Finsel. Inheriting the warrior bloodline, the Bav Bavlaka family is the most powerful and influential family in Finsel at the moment. Inheriting the Knight bloodline, oh, that is a name, o Olenok's family has occupied the position Colonel of Finsel's Knights Regiment for generations. Inheriting the mage bloodline, the Jurs Castle family in Finsel is a family of great mages. And last but not least, the second family of the Archer bloodline is known in Finsel for a decent number of loafers and poets in the family. <laughs> I've seen their family crests in books. Yes, these four families are loyal to the saint. Their allegiance lay lays a solid foundation for the saint's reign and ensures the education or execution of the saint's decrees. This sounds fascinating. What did you say? I find it very fascinating. The saint is believed to be a lady with the ultimate man and wisdom. I didn't expect her to be ruling a city this way. Politics is a fascinating thing, my child. Well, let's ask about the political system. A prosperous city always has a wise ruler in the books. I want to know how Finsel's politics is functioning at present. This is a long story. In short, Finsel has been an independent city, theoretically ruined by the saint generation after generation. What does the saint do exactly? Nothing much. Huh? The saint is more like a spiritual token that keeps the entire Finsel together. She rarely speaks on political affairs, only on matters that would affect Finsel's future, and the saint would issue a decree. The rest of it is decided by the noble? Not really. Finsel is governed by the senate and a city assembly. The former one consists of nobles and the latter commoners. For most of the time, ordinary citizens can also take part in the... Yeah, I can't read all of that. Hmm. The system sounds very reasonable. Of course, most industries are controlled by the noble. I guess the Arnstein family used to have loads of power. And then we have geography. Mom, why can Finsel remain independent among several powerful states? Because this is where the land traffic meets the maritime. The location of Finsel has decided its decisive role. These powerful states simply won't allow this land to be controlled by another. So Finsel remains absolutely neutral to keep a balance between these states. You're very smart, my child. Sounds like Finsel's peace has a far-reaching impact. That's right. The recent battle of Finsel has attracted wide attention. However, this time chaos is a great opportunity for our family to recover and raise. Got it, Mom. Alright, so that covers everything. Thank you, Mom. Now I know enough about Finsel. Let's continue with these important matters. Good, my child. Listen to me. In Finsel, high-class nobles have their pedigree of pedigree of their family in the senate their family in belm their family emblems are shining in the senate's book generation after generation wow i'm struggling to read some of these words family name is a privilege of noble which reflects the glory of a family a commoner can never own a family name my child do you know the meaning of elenstein mom i the Ellenstein family's emblem was once glittering proudly in the Senate. The name was later wiped off, and the family was forced to leave the city. I can never forget that day. I swore I would return to Finsel within my lifetime and take back the Ellenstein's family glory. My child, you are a member of the Ellenstein family. Do you understand? What to do? So, Mom, what shall I do? Simple. Wear your finest dress to the balls and show off your beauty and charm to everyone. Those who once laughed at the Ellensteins will know our returning. But mom, I'm worried. To review the family requires a ton of to revive the family requires a ton of money. We don't worry. Your outstanding performance will earn us financial support. Otherwise, we have ma maintained our noble life and if, otherwise, how have we maintained our noble life and afforded your training at all these years? I see. I understand now. For at the Ellensteins tomorrow, to repay the love and care mom has given me from childhood, I'll exert my strengths and earn a foothold in high class for you and the patron. Yes, my child. I look forward to the day you bring glory back to the Ellenstein family. Huh, that's really interesting. So it sounds like the patron is that guy. So, accept. Magda, come here. Take a look at this. Is it a ball invitation? Is it for me? Yes. It's time for you to present yourself in Finsel's so social circle. Get ready. But I... Magda, I have a question for you. Do you think you look very different from those noble ladies? Uh, not much. Those ladies from different families have different hair colors. 
What about your education? Haven't you been working hard to become an outstanding lady all these years? I've taught you the noble style of conversation, bearing, chatting, and refusing. Yes. So the only gap between you and these ladies is your family name. Now you are my daughter. The family crest of the Allenstein family will shine on your shoulder. No one is nobler than you at the ball, I'm assuming. I got it. Yes, I'm just one of them. Good. This is the first step. The stage for the Ellenstein family should be much higher. You have no chance of succeeding if you have doubts in yourself. There are many gowns in the closet. Pick one for yourself. You must learn to match gowns with jewelry, gloves, and hairstyles from a ball from now on. Speaking of hairstyles, I've called someone to do your hair. She should be here any second. Get yourself ready. Yes, mother. All right, so we have a new hairstyle. Ooh, this artwork is very cool. Here's a stamina required to attend the ball. Um, and we can make our debut. Okay. Your outfit will be rotated at the ball. You better wear all the accessories you have. Alright, so it looks like we're wearing probably this hair and then this dress. Friendship stockings. I love it. Um, I think the pink heels. I don't have anything else I, th I think, so let's give it a go. Let's go with that. Delicate, pure, mature, and cool. <laughs> I'm everything. <laughs> hmm. Walking in high heels is... Magda, what are you waiting for? It's almost time for the ball. I'm coming. Honorable lady, please present the invitation. Here you are. Alright. Welcome, beautiful ladies. <sighs> Magda, relax. Your hands are shaking. Remember to keep your head up. Eyes are on us. Here we welcome Mrs. Ellenstein and Lady Ellenstein. Ellenstein? I've never heard about it. I believe it's a very old family. Haven't heard their news for a good while. It's said that they've moved out of Finsel. Moved out? So this name. Yes, only the families removed from the Senate would leave Finsel. Mom, I think they're talking about us. Don't look about Magda. But, but... This is the social circle. Even if someone is talking loudly about the Elnstein family to your face, <clears throat> you must keep your smile. We can't lose it on. I know. This is your first ball. Don't, you don't have to socialize yet. Listen and observe. Trust me. Many eyes will be drawn to you, even if you stand here without doing anything. Gonzalo, have you seen that ma'am and lady over there? Mom, you mean the one with the blue eyes? Yes. Not really. Probably just petite nobles from nowhere. Lawrence, have you seen that? So, Lady Leanne, are you talking about the shabby, sheepish girl who's standing by an old woman? Enough. Have you seen her before? Never, my lady. <laughs> Where is this hillbilly from? She has such a pretty face. <laughs> Beautiful lady, may I have this honor to dance with you? Um, um. The lights above the dance floor are gorgeous. Go ahead. You young lady shouldn't be tied to this old woman. Yes, mother. My lady, may I have your next dance? Um, Mom said I shouldn't refuse her virtually. As you please. Wait a second. Next, next. What are you looking at? Father, the dancing lady. Is she new here? Hmm. Another pest. Struggling to crawl higher. She deserves no attention of you. Remember, you're the daughter of the book of us. You're nobler than her. Okay, Father. There. Many graceful gentlemen are waiting. Sure. Time flight at the ball. Magda danced with many gentlemen. Spin, spin. Wow, my feet hurt. Magda, that's enough for today. Let's go home. The ball will end soon. Yes. Phew, finally I can go home. Wow, okay. So, uh, introduced ourselves. Let them, let them get to know us a little better. So we'll have different quests, I guess, that we can work on. So we completed our first quest, which was going to the ball. My feet, my feet hurt. It's your first time dancing all day in high heels. It's already a miracle you're not bleeding. You didn't show your pain to anyone, did you? No, I didn't. I've, cur I've cursed all those who invited me to dance in my heart, but I didn't show any displeasure on my face. Quite a few people spoke highly of my dancing skills. You've done great as a first timer. Come here, we need to plan for tomorrow's ball. Please give me a moment to change my shoes. No change is allowed. But my feet hurt. Ladies who are unable to handle high heels have no future. You will be on high heels from now on except in bed. 
At least, at least let me change my socks, Mom. Just a minute, my feet really hurt. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm now level two. I've completed my first quest and I have um, a bracelet. Looks like that's what I got. So we can look at new storyline quests, um, which is a dance tutorial. Interesting. I'm just trying. I'm guessing I haven't unlocked everything in the interface. So I guess let's go ahead and do the dance tutorial. Mom, you were right. Today I bring the handkerchief with the family crest to the ball, and everyone was looking at it as it acted as if nothing were on their mind. Hmm. <laughs> they were curious about your identity, but didn't want to look ignorant. Tonight they will find ways to check the noble pedigree in the Senate. That's a way to recover the Allenstein family's position in Finsel's social circle, right? Yes. This is only the first step. How wonderful! The beautiful mother and the pretty daughter are both here. Viscott, you... Why didn't the butler announce your arrival? Please pardon us for not greeting you at the door. Magda, what are you waiting for? Give us loot. This is Viscount Saken, the patriarch of the Saken family, one of the four families in Finsel. Ah, pleased to meet you, Vincent. Saken. No need, Lady Allenstein. I apologize for the sudden visit. I hope this small gift can make up for the rudeness. A dress? Is it for me? Don't you feel like showing your gratitude? Thank you, my lord. Okay, so we have, we get favor, ooh. It would be my great honor if you could show me how beautiful you are in this dress. Um, I'll put it on right now. Good, she's away now. My lord, what brought you here in person? This is not what we have agreed on. Because I'm a bit worried about their, this eyes, m madame. You are not satisfied with her performance at the ball? I'll prepare more trainings for her. On the opposite, she did amazingly today. The senators are talking about the strong return of the old Elmstein family. Many young gentlemen can't forget her gem-like eyes. Then, I want her to collect intelligence now. But, my lord, it's risky to have her start the task right now without three or four months of practice beforehand. We don't have time. Violent turbulence will soon take place in Finsel. The Sakan family needs first-hand intelligence. I'm not sure about that, my lord. I'm concerned it might reveal your father's plan. To help her grow up fast, I will come to her rescue if necessary. But I'm afraid the relationship between the Allenstein family and the Sarkin family won't remain a secret for long. This, this is quite different from what your father com commanded. I need to give it to thought. Miss Allenstein, who is funding you? It's Duke Sarkin. Well, from whom you actually receive? Who, from whom do you actually receive the fund? From you, my lord. My father is traveling around the world, leaving behind an awful mess. Right. <sighs> I don't have a position to tell you that, but yes, you are the one holding the Sacken family together right now. Then do as I ask. Let's complicate the situation in Finsel. Tomorrow, you will receive fund for this month. Doubled. Mm. I'm done, may I ask? Ah, what praiseworthy beauty. This is the way, Lady Elnstein, I've prepared a, you a little entertainment. Hm? Going out now? Mom, go ahead, Magda. Do what Viscount said. Thank you for that. Ooh, so that's a pretty outfit, and it looks like we are going to be going to another ball. Well, I've been recording for about 20 minutes. I don't know how much talking I'm going to be doing, but let's maybe go ahead and pause here. This has been really interesting so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and probably keep playing just so I can finish out the introduction. I just don't want this video to be incredibly long. But thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more first looks. And tell me in the comments if you would like to see me play more of this. Because I think it is pretty interesting. Has an interesting plot line. Seems a lot more developed than Love Nikki, which is, of course, the easiest thing for me to compare it to. Um, so I'm just, I'm very interested in this. But thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.